All right, people. I got a room full of people where I usually record at and everything. So I was trying to watch this Aquaman Man trailer in peace. I'm going to watch it now. I sent it to my nephew earlier. And with his recent disappointment of the DCU, his response was this. You should see it. It should be right there. That's what he said when I sent it to him. So now I'm about to watch it. And, um, you know, let's get into it. I waited long enough. It came out like three hours ago. So, yeah, I waited about two hours. I was out running around and stuff. But let's get into this trailer. Let's see what it's about. I have a feeling it's going to be good. I really do. It's just the director. Let's just watch. Let's get into it. My father was a lighthouse keeper. My mother was a queen. But life has a way of bringing people together. This is origin stain. True to the comics. Check it out. Arthur is talking to the fish. Oh, we're going to get some flashback. They made me what I am. Is that my mama's son? That looks like his son. Permission to come aboard. That's his son. I think that was his son. Your half brother King Orm is about to declare Ooh, war that looked on good the surface world. world. That was quick. The but it only good. way to stop this war is for you to take your rightful place as king. Trust me, I am no king. You do your best thinking when you're not thinking at all. That's so pretty. That was the worst pep talk ever. You know what? I'm strap in. I think I know what they did. So it looks pretty good. Oh man. Welcome home. One. This man was so confident for his move. To challenge me for the throne. I call it an ass whooping. Yeah. I'm affected no good. I came because I had no choice. I came to save my home and the people that I love. I think you're unworthy to lead because you're of two different worlds. That is exactly Yo, that was a good shot. Worthy. Oh, that was awesome. This looks good. To the surface. Oh. And I'm bringing the wrath of the so seven good. seas with me. Oh man, you know what? They ain't gotta move their release date. They don't. This movie, this trailer was good. That was a really good trailer. That was a great trailer. Man, the underwater effects, when they're talking and moving around, it doesn't look like they're being restricted in their movements. That's what it looked like in Batman vs Superman when they showed that little shot of him underwater. And even in Justice League, like when he was fighting and stuff, it was a little slower than I thought it would be for underwater. Like in the comics, or even in some of the animated uh, films and stuff, in the cartoons. You see Aquaman, he, he moves around in water like we do out here. So it shouldn't look like it's restricting their movement. And James Wan got that down. And I think what they did is they don't want to look like they're talking and the water's affecting them the way we talk underwater. He told everybody when Justice League came out, don't worry, there's not going to be no air bubble conversations in my movie. And he was confident going into this. There was a lot of directors that left because they weren't confident they could do the underwater scenes justice. Get ready for a Little Mermaid movie because it's coming. I said that when we saw the Aquaman footage for uh, Justice League. It's coming. Because of this, it's coming. That looks great. We're getting another uh, place that you don't normally see in movies, Atlantis and stuff like that. We had Wakanda, now we're getting this. I think this is going to be great. Um, this, this looks so good. I got to go back and watch that like 20 times because all the shots of Black Manta was like too quick. I also like how the tone of this is, it feels like an Aquaman movie. This doesn't seem like it's Aquaman and exists in a Batman movie. Um, because to me, that was some of the problems I had with Batman vs Superman and um, Justice League. That's what it felt like. The movies were um, not just because they were dark, but it didn't feel like it was Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman all in a movie together. It felt like it was a Batman movie and these characters were appearing or just making a cameo there. Um, man, um, I, I have a feeling this is going to be a hit, a big hit. Uh, and I also like that it seems like it's three different movies. 
parts of it look like something like from um, Indiana Jones, like an adventure movie or uh, what is it called? Uncharted. Other parts of it seem like it's, uh, you know, this world that we're going to be introduced to under the seas. And then another part of it seems like it's a, not a redemption story, but a coming of age story for Arthur. Since he was basically looked at as, oh, you're half human, you're not worthy of having the throne. So he's going to have to prove himself. So I like that. It looks like we're going to get a lot with this. Uh, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to see it. I got some friends who love Aquaman. They love Aquaman. So, um, and they're Marvel nuts. For real, just like me. They marvel over everything, but they love Aquaman. I love this trailer. I'm going to watch it a few more times. But that was my reaction. Leave some comments. I don't think they need a movie release date. Second trailer probably going to be good, too. From this trailer, they don't have to remove nothing. This is going to be winning that opening weekend.